Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another review video for you all. I've been playing around with the Makeup for Aqua Brow and I think I have gathered my general opinions on this product. So if you want to see my thoughts, then just keep watching. Now this claims to be a waterproof eyebrow corrector. Yes. <laughs> now I haven't gone physically swimming with this stuff on because like I don't know why I just haven't um, but one day I was walking to uni and there's no covering where I was walking and literally it just started bucketing down rain like for like two seconds it was just like and that was it and like my like I was just saturated and I went to the bathroom I looked in the mirror and literally my eyebrows were in place like nothing had disrupted them like the rest of my makeup was looking ratchet but my eyebrows stayed in place and the only thing I had on was this stuff like that's amazing and yeah like I've worn this stuff sometimes when I go to work I would do my makeup at like six o'clock in the morning and if I go out to dinner or something like that afterwards I might not get home till like 10 11 12 o'clock at night so it's been on for like over 12 hours and it's still on my face in place nothing's changed I really really like it I feel like with this product you can get a very very natural brow but you can also get a very very bold thick harsh brow if you wanted to the more product you use the more I guess bold and harsh it would be depending on how you used it I generally prefer my eyebrows how they are right now this is all that I have in my eyebrows is the aqua brow stuff. I like to apply it with a more stiff angled eyeliner brush. And I just like to do short little strokes and just brush it through my eyebrows. I feel like if you use just the tiniest amount and you just keep adding more when need be, that's how you can actually control the product. So don't obviously squirt out like a pea size amount and think, oh yeah, that's going to do like one eyebrow. No, that's way too much. Like you want a pin drop. Like yeah like a pin a pin size is that what you call it a pin size like you need the tiniest little bit and just take a little bit out of time and just apply it to your eyebrow don't go overboard and just like pack it on and then be like wee if you want to that's cool but that's not how i like to do it i like to just get it and do short little strokes and just kind of outline the outside of my brow and then kind of just lightly fill it in as well and it just gives me the most natural look and that's the way that i generally like to apply it so in regards to application, I think you'd need to probably play around with it twice. It took me about two times to actually get it to how I really, really liked it. And after I've got the hang of it, I've used it and it's been so easy, so quick, so fast. I can do it in maybe about a minute if I needed to. So yeah, I really, really like it in regards to application. Packaging is amazing. You get 7 mil. Um, I have mine in shade 25 if I didn't mention that before. And yeah, like... It's just a plastic tube that like you squeeze out the product. The only downside to the product is if you squeeze out too much, you can't get it back in um, very easily, but just don't squirt out too much. Just use a little bit and yeah, you'll be fine. I don't know if there's anything else I need to say. There's heaps of colors in the range. Like there's auburn, there's blonde, there's ebony, there's this, there's heaps of colors. So you can mix and match if you need to. It's decently priced and I don't think it's gonna dry out on you anytime soon. I, d I truly genuinely prefer this over the Too Faced Bulletproof Brow simply because it does last as long. The color is very, very nice. It's not too green and it's not too red and it just lasts a long time. It's easy to apply. It's cheaper. I don't know. I just prefer it a lot better. I really, really like this product as a whole and I would highly, highly recommend it. I know this is a short review, but I don't think there's much for me to say. It is a very, very nice product. If you want something for your eyebrows that's more of a cream or like a liquid, if you like liquid like dip brow pomade or the Too Faced Bulletproof Brow, you will most probably like this. Just squirt out a tiny little bit and just see how you go. Like less is more in this circumstance and obviously add more if you want to. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to really cover. It lasts a really, really long time. The color selection is great. It's easy to use. The packaging is great. The only bad thing that I can seriously think of is, is if you squirt out too much onto the back of your hand, it can't go back into the container. But seriously, if you just use the tiniest little bit and you just like, you only take out what you need, 
it's it's a faultless product in my opinion I don't even need to set it with benefit gimme brow which I normally do I still do sometimes just if I think that my eyebrow hairs are looking a little bit thin but on a daily basis if I'm wearing this I don't need anything else it holds down my eyebrow hairs I don't know if it's supposed to do that but it holds them down and I don't know it just makes them look really really nice and they still look natural they don't look very fake and artificial of course if you'd like that look you could most probably do it with this you just need to apply more and just layer it on a little bit more but for how I use it I really really like it it gives me very very natural brows but they're still quite defined and still very very structured so I really really like it this is a winner in my books I would highly highly recommend it even if it was $50 I would still recommend it this would last you a year I would say so yeah, that's my final opinions on this product. I really, really, really do love it. I don't really think there's any negatives that I can think of at least. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely comment down below what you would like to see me review next. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.